The Arab Games in Qatar may be a small affair compared to the country's hosting of major events such as the Football World Cup. But for one family of Qatari swimmers, this is just a stepping stone in a quest for sporting greatness on a world scale. As Paul Rees reports. Noah Al Khulafi will be up against the big fish in the pool when he competes for Qatar at the Arab Games in Doha this weekend. At just 12 years old, he will take on adults more than twice his age and size in races that also serve as qualifiers for the London 2012 Olympics. The youngster is no stranger to success with six gold medals in golf championships. He has only recently had one of his regional records broken. That was by his younger brother Jacob, who is 10. His Qatari father and English mother will hope that Jacob in turn will have his best time smashed by six-year-old Yusuf. Noah is unlikely to win a medal against grown men in Doha, but has high hopes that experiences like this can push the brothers towards qualification for the 2016 Olympics in Rio. Well, I think me and Jacob probably have a good chance, because I'll be 17, he'll be 15. So that's a pretty good chance, but I think uh, Yusuf here, I don't think so, because he'll only be, what do you think? Well, 11, he'll only be 11, so I don't think he can qualify, but maybe. He can do two breaths. Qatar has won just two Olympic medals since first competing at the Games in 1984, both bronze and neither of them in swimming. The Al Khulafi family may yet buck that trend, but for now are happy to have fit and healthy children in a country with some of the highest obesity and diabetes levels in the world. The priority is, is to make them fit, uh, to allow them, to give them the chance to reach their potential, and if they get to the Olympics and represent Qatar, and perhaps get a medal or two or more, that will be a tremendous bonus for us. That journey begins with the men's 200 meter butterfly on Friday. After the Arab Games, Noah will be back to his books at Doha's Qatar Academy, with maths not medals taking precedence until Rio 2016. These Arab Games aren't just a chance for established athletes to compete against the best in the region, they're also a stepping stone for the stars of the future. As Qatar hosts more top events like the Football World Cup and possibly the Olympics, the hope is that Arab youngsters will aspire to achieve those same levels. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Doha.